Hello and welcome back. We're on box 20 of the Great Briar Model Horse Collection unboxing. This week I picked one that says Briar Clydesdale Mares and Foals. This one may test me because they did a couple of special runs on this one that I'm not really familiar with, but let's find out. Let's test me. So first we have a Chestnut Clydesdale Mare. This is the color that was issued for probably the longest, okay, and she has her uh, blanket on her, so I'm going to get this guy too, because this guy has a blanket, so I'm going to assume it's her matching foal in chestnut. They made them for a long, long time, 70s, 80s, however, if you find a set, and they're in decent condition. I can see that mom has some ear tip rubs and baby has some ear tip rubs, but, and baby's got some uh, hip rubs. D nice condition though. Um, they weren't, don't, don't look like they were played with too much. However, if you find a set with their blankets still on, you can fairly accurately date them. The original set, and if you follow my my collection videos. Um, my set actually has a metal hook and o-ring connector on on the belly down here. This set has velcro. So the velcro came after that metal hook and eye set and they actually changed the composition of the blankets from this kind of felt to more of a cottony fabric. So this set is kind of mid run. I would probably place them mid to late 70s, maybe early 80s. But the felt is starting to not disintegrate. There's no, I don't see any like moth holes in it, but you can see it's starting to fade in coloring even though they've been packed away forever. And they have the, the Velcro connectors on the bottom. So if they have the metal connectors, they'll be the earliest release. If they have this Velcro, they'll be kind of a mid to late release. And so that is one way you can date them. So these guys were made from a lot for a long time, but with the blankets on them, they're kind of a nice, and they're, they're a matched set, so they're pretty nice. And, oh, who? Ay Dios mio, there's lots of them in here. So let me just grab this one, because she looks like just another, um, Chestnut Clydesdale Mare. Collectors, if they like a mold, will often collect many of them. So that's probably what this collector did. So I can see, if you put them on a shelf mm -hmm. next to each other, you could see that they are slightly different. This one has a really dark mane and tail, dark chestnut. This is more lighter, like the body color. So for a collector who likes these draft molds, that is definitely enough of a variation to keep them both. And let's do this. This gal looks like um, the Shire Mare. She was a regular run during the 80s, that time period when they were kind of um, giving new releases every couple of years. So she was probably made for two, three, four years. And it is, it's the Shire Mare. It's kind of a mid to late 80s basic dark chestnut. So here we have the regular run, long 10, 15, 20 year run. This is the uh, darker chestnut, also a regular run, but only produced for a couple of years. She's in nice shape. She's got a couple of ear tip rubs, but no body rubs that I see. So um, just a nice, it's, it's a really nice mold. A lot of people like her. Um, so what else do we have? Well, let's do her. Let's do an exciting one. This is Shannon. I remember Shannon. I stood in line in the 100 degree heat for her. This was one of the first Briarfest special runs. I think it was around 1998. She is in glossy charcoal. They made 450 of them. And this was long before they got smart about handing out tent tickets with numbers and drawings. So you just stood in the line and you hoped that there was a horse or something when you got to the front of the line. Um, 
I sat in line with a bunch of friends for long hours, and I got my Shannon. I don't, I don't remember. Um, don't remember. I still have mine, and she has eye whites, and she's a really nice glossy charcoal. So this is a very popular, nice popular color, popular mold. Not a lot made of them. Good stories. Now, what else do we got in here? Ah, okay, so this is another, I think she's a regular run. Oh, she's not in good shape. She's in really bad shape. So this is um, what I would consider basically a body quality horse. You probably can't see them in the video, but she has copious rubs. You'll usually find the rubs on the high points. So she has rubs on her hip, on her belly. She's got, her ears are kind of even a little rubbed and um, bent. She Her eye tip rubs, she's got rubs all along this side. So this is interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look her up really quick just to make sure because Clyde's down there. Uh, it would be interesting to keep a horse in this condition. Oh, she's a special run, 1982 to 1984, Penny. Clydesdale family set, matte red bay, um, considered true bay with the high whites, stenciled white legs and belly, bald face. So this is a special run, 1982 to 84. That's fairly early for a special run. So that's probably why he kept her because um, she's really not in the best condition. And this is a Clydesdale stallion and he has solid red bobs. He's in much better condition than her, but he might be the matching stallion because it said that they were a set. So let's see, Clydesdale stallion. Yeah, he's the 1982 to 84 special run. He's in much better condition than her. He's really matte, interestingly. She is very semi-gloss. He has all of his bobs. He's in pretty nice shape. Um, he has a couple of black marks on him, but no rubbing, so that's nice. Yeah. And then these guys, this is a Clydesdale mare and foal. Oh, I wonder if, I'll bet you this guy matches that set, because he's got really high whites. So he has that dark mane and tail. <laughs> collectors, am I right? <laughs> so here we have the mare, and then here is a regular run. So she has a much darker mane and tail um, than the regular run does, as well as those high whites. So this is a complete set of that 1984 special run. The foal is like his mom in very poor condition, lots of rubs and black marks, but dad looks pretty nice, so that's cool. And then we have um, just a nice Clydesdale mare in chestnut. Clydesdales don't come in a ton of colors, so I guess Briar made as many as variations as they could. I'm going to look her up because I have the book here. So this is the regular run 1990 to 91 matte light bay Clydesdale mare. She's in beautiful condition. This is a really nice paint job on her because of the contrast with that light body and then the dark mane and tail. She's a little bit more of an orangey chestnut and she's got a bald face with some black on it. So she's really attractive. She's really nice. Um, collectors, like I said, really like this mold. And this is our last one. I saved her for last after peeking into the box because I wasn't sure what she was. And I'm still not sure what she is. So this is the Clydesdale Mare in Dapple Gray. And they made two of them um, in this color. They made the wild, so this is the regular dapple gray. The wild dapple gray is a special run um, from mail order companies in 79. This is not, this is the 1990 to 91 regular run. Oh, excuse me, 1987 mail order companies, 1000 made light dapple gray. Um, so they made two of this mold. 
And she is in just a regular dapple gray, the wild dapple gray. The dapples come all the way up, but she's really nice. So this is a really nice collection of Clydesdale mares, foals, and a couple of stallions. Thank you.